What's up guys, Infernape here, and I'm so happy that I've nearly hit 40 subscribers. Um, if you haven't unsubscribed already, I guarantee you should, because when I hit 40 subscribers, I am going to do the Bing Boozle Challenge, Pinky Promise. I'm sure many of you know my favourite PokeTuber, MNJTV. Well, a while ago, uh, on his latest um, shiny stream, he actually shouted me out and un answered one of my questions on his live stream. And I was so happy and, and giddy, it made me want to make a top 10 video on his channel. If you haven't seen his latest shiny stream, then I guarantee you go check it out. It was around an hour 17 minutes when he shouted me out, so keep that in mind. I went through every single one of his uh, YouTube videos and picked out the 10 best ones. So, I hope oh, you enjoyed the video and be sure to check out MNJATV's channel when you're done with this video. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, we have his Pokemon Talk series. Now, I... I did, I did want to add at least one episode of Pokemon Talk, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted to put, so I thought I might as well put the entire series in there. The journey began and of Bulbasaur and Squirtle, when, and they first uploaded their first video on the 15th of April 2012, and ever since then, it's been quite a smashing hit. I can't deny I, that I do really like the series, even though at first, I didn't and really get it because it was just two uh, Pokemon plushies going all around in many different ways. And uh, I didn't really like it at first, but once I, I watched it a bit more, I kind of grew into it. Like, it's still an amazing series, and I'm pretty sure it's the most popular series on his channel. At number nine, we have his Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Now, so this is exactly the same as his Pokemon Talk series. I really like the series, I just couldn't pick one episode that I liked over the other, so I just thought I'd include the entire series. If you didn't already know, Pokemon Platinum is my favourite Pokemon game of all time. And seeing him play my favourite Pokemon game while in a Nuzlocke, and picking my favourite Pokemon of all time, I couldn't resist putting it out of the list. There were quite a few good moments and quite a few bad moments, especially all of the Pokemon on that died during the Nuzlocke. If you didn't already know, if a Pokemon faints during a Nuzlocke, they die and there's nothing you can do about it. So he did lose quite a few Pokemon, including his starter Infernape. I was literally just really sad when and Ludacris died. If you didn't already know, he named his Chimchar slash Infernape Ludacris, which is pretty funny. But I gotta say the stars of that the star of that team was definitely his Gliscor called Metal. He he made it up until El the Pokemon League when and Cynthia's Garchomp took him out with a Dragon Rush, I think. But let's be honest, who hasn't and lost to a Cynthia's Garchomp Dragon Rush? But still, it was an amazing Nuzlocke and I wish he, he did uh, more Nuzlocke like these. At number eight, we have his Pokemon Rap Tag video. If you didn't already know, uh, quite a few years ago, there was this tag going along with PokeTubers where they have to make a rap about our Pokemon and their channel. Yeah, his video was quite good, but uh, it was it's quite a long list because it was a bit short. But that doesn't mean that that video isn't good because it is. It actually inspired me to make my own rap about my own channel, which I'm still working on. And it, yeah, it's just a, it's just an amazing video. Like I'd actually like to see him and do more or like, like rapping videos on his channel because I think they actually turn out really well when he's finished them. At number seven, we have the Team Rocket versus Team Skull rap battle. Now I gotta say, his rap battle videos are amazing. I definitely want him to do more and maybe get Jubilee involved in it and do uh, like Dawn versus Serena or Misty versus Serena or something like that. I definitely think his rap battles are definitely some of his best ones. I definitely find I, I, the costumes that he used really cool and very original. I'd like to know how he actually made all the costumes and, and the Team Skull jewellery necklace thing. Like, I actually I think it's really cool. Like, if. If, he, if there's the off chance of him watching this, which I highly doubt he is, I'd really like, like to know like how he made the costumes and where he actually got the Team Skull necklace. But still, it's an amazing video, great costume design, very, very well written and with the rap, 
And I just think it's just an amazing video, and it's definitely a, a like, it's definitely taken a lot of time in making that video, which I really I do appreciate when people put a lot of time and effort into making one video that's a smashing hit. At number six, we have the original old rap battle, which was the Ash versus Red rap battle. I want to make it abundantly clear, if I haven't already, I love his Pokemon rap battles in his channel. They are amazing, very original, and I'd love to see him do more. In the original rap battle, I definitely think Ink, that a, a battle could have gone either way. Like, my mum actually uh, thought that Ash, not Ash, um, Red actually won that battle, and she thought Team Skull won it, and um, the previous rap battle. Um, I'm actually not sure, uh, like, in my opinion, who actually won. Like, Ash does have more badges, and he's uh, travelled to many other regions, but Red is definitely stronger, but, and he's also caught uh, the four original or legendary Pokemon. Yeah, it's just like, I can't undecide who's better between Ash versus Red. Like, let me know who you thought oh, won that rap battle, if you've already seen it. At number five, we have his top five Pokemon that need a mega evolution. Now, this video actually did inspire me to make my own, but I'm not actually going to upload it just yet. But keep this in mind, I am going to upload it. I definitely agree with some of the entries on his list. I don't really ag agree with, like, Tropius, but I do agree with the other four entries, which were uh, the Johto starters, Torkoal, Flygon, and especially Luxray. Like, I definitely think that Flygon and Luxray needs a Mega, but I definitely think Milo Tick deserves a Mega Evolution as well, because it definitely looks a bit incomplete. I also think, think that the um, Sinnoh starters need Megas, but still, uh, like, that episode, uh, like, that video is just amazing. I love it. It's just amazing. I can't um, wait for him to do, like, more videos like that in the future. At number four, we have his top five favorite mega evolutions. Now again, he did inspire me to make a video like this sort as well, but that's neither here nor there. To be honest, I'm not surprised what his number one entry was. It, a bit spoiler alert, but his number one entry was Mega Charizard X, but I'm really not surprised because um, he, is, um, he actually he bred a perfect IV Charmander, which then evolved into a Charizard and became Mega Charizard X, which he called Demon. And ever since I found that out, I have been wanting to battle that Charizard for such a long time. If I ever get a chance to battle all MJ TV, I would love to battle that Charizard. But I highly doubt that will actually happen, but a guy can dream, can't he? To be honest, I didn't quite agree with all of the entries. I think I agreed all with all but one, which was probably Mega Man Electric. Like, I do really like Me Mega Man Electric, but its design is a bit boring. Like, it did deserve a Mega Evolution, but it's just really boring. Like, I could have probably a, came up with a much better design than that. But, you know, like, Pokemon designers. <laughs> Still, it's an amazing video, and I highly recommend you watch it. At number three, we have his second most popular video, which is, how old is Ash Ketchum? Like, when I was a kid, I've actually wondered how old of Ash was supposed to be, because I knew that he couldn't just stay 10 for the rest of his life. Even though there have been many theories about how he can stay young, the coma theory and the ho theory, <laughs> for example. But uh, it's an intriguing video to watch. Like, I don't really recommend you watch it if you haven't, but come on, who hasn't seen that video? It's the second most viewed video. <laughs> it's an amazing video, a great breakdown, to be honest. He, he's very smart uh, to figure out how old he's supposed to be. Like, uh, that was made quite a few years ago. I'm not sure how old he's supposed to be now, maybe around 20, I think. But still, it's an amazing video, and I highly recommend and that you watch it. It's an amazing video, and I love it to bits. At number two, we actually have the second uh, video that I actually watched from um, MNJ TV, and that is, Who is Ash's Father? It's really cool seeing him go into detective mode. 
and try and kind of figure out who Ash's father is supposed to be. I highly doubt he'll I'll ever, uh, they'll ever uh, like introduce Ash's father, but you know, <laughs> like the the theories he actually came up with are actually quite clever. Like I actually think Silver is supposed to be Ash's father. That that's probably a the most uh, like uh, like you know the most obvious one. <laughs> Like I definitely think uh, Silver is uh, definitely uh, Ash's father because he he looks a lot like him and ha carries a lot of his traits. So I definitely uh, uh, love that video and maybe uh, we'll see more Pokemon on theory videos by him in the future. And finally, at number one, we have his top ten favorite Pokemon. Now the original one was the first video I ever saw by him, but I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the updated version. The main reason I, I decided to put the newest one instead of the older one is because he introduced a website that actually lets you figure out what your t uh, top 10, 20 or 30 vi uh, Pokemon are. And I have used that uh, tool so many times in the past. It's what helped me figure out what my top 10 favorite Pokemon are and my favorite Pokemon from each generation. There were a couple entries when I thought, Meh. But I do agree with like um, Sceptile, Gliscor, Breloom and Talonflame. And maybe a um, Haxorus, Luxray and Torterra. But still, that, uh, that video is an amazing video and I definitely think it should uh, like get more views and likes. And that's why I had to put this video at number one. And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I'm just so, so happy that uh, he actually answered not only one of my uh, comments, but two. If you want um, to know um, um, where uh, he did it, um, it was on his latest shiny stream. It's actually the latest video on my likes playlist, so once you're done with this video, go check it out. I'll leave timestamps in the description of this video when he actually uh, shouted me out, so keep an eye on the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, uh, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. And if an off chance you're watching this my Michael Growth, um, I, I'm really happy with your channel. Thank you for all the years of entertainment, and I wish you and Jubilee all the best. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Infernape, signing off. Bye!